Hey, this is Josh from The Verge, and we are looking at the new iPhone 5. Uh, as you can see, it looks somewhat familiar to the iPhone 4S and the iPhone 4, but uh, I have to say, when you pick it up in your hands, there is an immediate noticeable difference. It's thinner, it's lighter, uh, it feels incredibly light, actually. It's almost bizarrely light. When I picked it up, I almost dropped it because I expected more weight than is actually here. But uh, that doesn't mean that it's you know, cheaply constructed. The back is a uh, beautiful matte metal finish. There's glass uh, on these two pieces right here. And then, of course, glass around the front. Uh, it's also got a larger screen, the much rumored and now uh, exposed larger screen of the, of the iPhone 5. Uh, you can also see the bezel's been kind of cut down along the sides here. So it just feels like it's all screen on the front. Um, this is the black version, which is almost all matte black, uh, pretty sleek, I have to say, pretty slick looking. And um, you know everything functions as you would expect on an iPhone. It's of course running iOS 6. Uh, we've seen uh, early versions of iOS 6. We saw it demoed at WWDC, and uh, this is the full version here. A few new additions. Passbook is one of them, which is going to collect uh, all sorts of boarding passes and gift cards and stuff like that, uh, which was demoed today. Uh, there's also new mail features. For instance, the VIP and flagging has been changed. And lots of little nips and tucks all over the OS. Uh, but you know, the big story today is not the operating system. The big story today is the hardware. And I have to say, it's definitely, uh, it is an evolution in terms of the design language, but I spoke to Phil Schiller, and he said that this is a, a complete ground up new project for them. They looked at this and they said, let's just kind of blow, you know, blow apart what we've already done and build something new from the ground up. And you do see little differences that, that indicate that that's the case. Particularly one of the things that I noticed is the detail on this, the machined edges of this. I heard somebody here say it looked a little bit like jewelry and I have to agree that there is kind of a jewelry feel to the way these edges are machined uh, and, uh, and as clean as they are. Oh, one other thing to note, the headphone jack has moved down to the bottom uh, and it now has the new lightning dock port, uh, which is much smaller, obviously, and uh, faster, as Apple claims. It has a bunch of other features that are helpful if you're docking your phone. So uh, this is it. I mean, this is the iPhone 5. It's going to be available. I believe it goes on sale September 21st. Uh, and, um, and we're going to spend a little bit more time with it. We'll have some impressions and, uh, and a lot more info soon.